my name is Faith Rosere, age 24. I'm doing a program with Chino University of Technology, Bachelor in Science and Honours degree in Creative Art and Design. I chose Untamed because it wouldn't limit me or give me boundaries in what I wanted to do. I, I made prints on printmaking, textbook design, uh, drawings, paintings, abstract paintings. That Abstract painting that is because I wasn't really, it was actually my first time doing painting. I didn't do painting. Then illustrations, photography and 3D. Give us an opening prayer. Please bow our heads and pray. Father, we want to thank you for this day. We thank you for everything that you have done for us so far. Lord, we give you glory and we give you honor. Mighty God, we put this day before you, O oh God, and we ask, mighty God, that all the proceedings, Father, are led by you, O oh God. Day. And Father, we thank you and we give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you very much for that uh, prayer. Uh, Good morning. My name is Miss Kate. I'm from the School of Art and Design, and my specialty is graphic design. I did teach Beverly graphic design and advertising, so I've come a long way with her. Because I've been speaking for the past four years, teaching her, I'm going to keep my remarks today very short. Chinua University of Technology boasts as being the only university in the country that offers degrees in visual communication. The degrees that we have include the Bachelor of Science degree in Visual Communication and Multimedia Design, as well as the Creative Art and Industrial Design degree, and also the Fine Art degree. This is the only place that you will find those kinds of qualifications at degree level in the country. During the course of the four years, the students cover so many different disciplines, including graphic design, industrial design, printmaking, textile design, sculpture, the list goes on and on and on. And this is all in an effort to equip our students with the skills to really make a difference in the marketplace. One thing that I will tell you about our degrees is that we've got a great track record. None of our students struggle to find a job or at least become entrepreneurs after they are done with the schooling. Now, a lot of parents have this misconception about art and design, and they think it's for the scruffy and for the people who want to smoke and buy and and all that kind of thing. But it's not necessarily the case. Our students do succeed in the marketplace, and it is our encouragement to you as parents to encourage your children once you discover that they've got a skill or a talent in art and design to pursue it diligently because it's a very, very viable profession. A lot of us push our, parents, our children to do maybe medicine or law because these are common careers that are very comfortable and we're very familiar with these careers and we know that these careers are the ones that flourish. But I would just like to bring the Bible into play and say, if you remember what the first thing that God did was, in the beginning, God created. He didn't heal, he didn't advocate, he didn't engineer. The very first thing that God did was he created. So we are grooming our students to be in the class of God himself. Every single thing that you're seeing around you was created. The clothes that you're wearing, I'm seeing a beautiful dress there, that's an artist that was involved in creating that. The car that you drove to come to this venue, that's a designer that was involved in creating that creation. So our students are in the class of God, and beyond that, they will do very well in their careers if they pursue degrees with Chinua University of Technology in the School of Art and Design. With those few words, I will hand over back to the end. Our guest of honor, who is um, a technocrat in the field of medicine, is a specialist physician, a nephrologist, for those of you that might not know, a nephrologist is a kidney specialist. There are four kidney specialists in Zimbabwe, and we have one of them here. He is a graduate of the College of Health Sciences at the University also of Zimbabwe, UZET. He holds the first degree in, um, in medicine, which we normally call Michimi, 
um, which he acquired in 2003. He has got um, a master's in international medicine, acquired in 2011. And um, his nephrology fellowship, he has got nephrology fellowship from um, Witz, Johannesburg. And he runs the kidney clinic in the division of um, medicine at Parirenyatwa. He is a consultant physician in one of the medical wards at Parirenyatwa, a medical specialist in the Zimbabwe National Army, and he runs a thriving kidney care clinic in town. He's a member of the South African Renal Society. He's a member of the American Society of Nephrology. He's a fellow of the International Society of Nephrology, and um, he's also a husband and the father of three lovely children who loves God. Ladies and gentlemen, help me all come to the podium, Dr. Omar Tito. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Thank you very much, Mr. Nari. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's a good one to use that we are hearing from America. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's far away, but I think there, is, there will be a lot of artwork from that result. Ladies and gentlemen, invited guests, members of media, and various institutions here present. It is my greatest honor uh, to stand here in front of you uh, to appreciate what has been done by uh, Beva and Russell. We also want to thank God for allowing this event to, take, to happen like this. We just want to thank God for the safe travels that we have had. That is the expression of um, one is subconscious in a form that one may not understand. Uh, that is the subconscious that is brought to life. I believe every child is born in an, in an, in an artist. Uh, I like what you say when you say you are the only university that produces graduates. But if you look back, we are all born artists. It's just that we tend to uh, change direction and do other things. To give a toddler a pencil, the first thing that they want do is to draw. You can remember yourself during the first few years when you learned how to handle a pencil or a pen. The first thing that you do is to try to draw. I'm not sure about the ladies. For males, I know you try and draw a, a car, you try to draw an oxen, you try and draw a tree. It's because we are all born in an artist. In an artist. So here we are gathered to see the works done by someone who has decided to take that call as a profession and become an artist. When I was, when I was young, uh, around about the age of 10, 11, I stayed from school as well at the International uh, Cave. For a few weeks, they were doing uh, the, the house that we were staying in. So during that period, he taught me how to draw a house. He taught me how to draw a car. He taught me how to portray a 2D dimension as if it's real. And at that stage, I became interested in drawing. I became interested in art. When I look back now, I say, well, probably I could have been a, a good architect. But that was not my point. When I was in grade 4, um, I met a gentleman. Uh, he's now late. He himself was not a doctor. He was actually a student then. He's the guy who introduced me to the practice of medicine. I was doing grade four, I had not met a doctor in my life. And from that time on, I became the best student in meds. And I tell you, the rest is history. I'm one of the kidney specialists that we have yet um, from Mr. Nari. So I would like to say to Beverly today, you have decided to take this profession of being an artist in an artist. You are going to be producing artwork. Enjoy what you are going to enjoy. And let the world enjoy what you are going to make them enjoy. You may get um, people who may say, oh, it's not a, a paying business. Uh, doctors get more. No. But don't worry about the monetary value. It's what you get in there with your art or the job satisfaction that you get from what you've been doing, that is more important. I'll tell you, there are more stressed doctors than what you think. You may have the money, but the life is stressful. 
some of those people have done it not because they wanted to, because they were pushed. Family. So I say, whoever pushed you, if there is anyone, or it was your choice, I think you responded to the call and you are going to succeed. So today, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are going to see uh, artwork done by Beverly Busseri as part of uh, achieving a, a degree program. The theme of the exhibition is titled Unthemed. I tried to look in the dictionary what unthemed means. The only word that I could get was un uncomparable. So we are here to witness an exhibition that is uncomparable. And this is what uh, Beverly has managed to achieve during the course of a four-year degree program. So the AIM Unthemed Art Exhibition aims to show the artistic journey undertaken by Beverly from the first semester of a degree program to this present. So we say art is a range of human activities uh, in creating visual, auditory, uh, performing artifacts, expressing the author's imaginative or technical skill intended to be appreciated for their beauty or power. This is what you are going to see here. You are going to see a range of, uh, or a mixture of photography, printmaking, graphic design, drawings, advertising, fashion design, three-dimensional art, textile design. This exhibition with its unique mixture of art is not limited and there's no boundaries whatsoever and requires open-mindedness. So I hope you are going to enjoy it. I don't intend to take much of your time and with this, ladies and gentlemen, I declare this exhibition official open. Let your eyes enjoy. It's safe and touch it. My event went well. I actually didn't think people would turn up the way they did. Uh, we had doctors from various institutions, people from Childline, the media, uh, from insurance companies, from schools. Wow, a really international case. My name is Fendi Stars. I'm a friend to Beverly Faith Kusere. I've known her since 2006 and she invited me for an exhibition. Actually, I didn't know what I was coming here for, but trust me, it was really awesome. I didn't know I've got such a talented friend until today. She proved or she showed me the other side of it. Trust me, it was incredible. To my lecturers, I would like to say thank you guys for putting us through our four-year journey. And up until this day of our exhibition, and my family, thank you so much for supporting me, even though you had no idea what I was doing.